All right, so for my oral homework presentation here, I'm doing section 2.2, number 54, where we're proving that zero is the additive identity of addition mod four by computing zero modular addition A equals A and A modular addition zero equals A. For every A within under addition mod four, so the A represents the set of integers 0, 1, 2, and 3 here. And I've already paired them up in all the ways that we're going to be directly computing and verifying the additive identity here. So where A equals 1 here, we're just going to start right away by computing 0, modular addition 1, which equals 0 plus 1 in parentheses. And because we're under addition mod 4 here, it's mod 4, which equals 1, mod 4, which equals 1. And likewise, 0 modular addition 0 equals 1 plus 0, mod 4, which equals 1 mod 4, which obviously we can see outputs the same result. That's our first pair done. We'll move on to the next one. Zero modular addition two equals zero plus two mod four, which equals two mod four. And two does not go into four fully, so we're left with two. And two modular addition zero equals two plus zero mod four equals 2 mod 4 again, which we see outputs 2 as well. On to the next pair, we have 0 modular addition 3, which equals 0 plus 3 mod 4, which equals 3 mod 4, which equals, again, 3 is less than 4, so we're left with 3. And 3 modular addition 0 equals 3 plus 0 modulo 4, which equals 3 mod 4 again, which equals 3. We got one pair left here, which is essentially the most obvious because these are the same thing. And this is almost an unnecessary step because you can basically see the outcome of both prayers right away are essentially irrelevant. But that is zero. And so we see that in every case where we have zero modular addition A, given that A equals the set from zero, one, two, three, under addition mod 4, we have proven the additive identity that in every case where 0 is modular addition with any value of A under addition mod M, the outcome always produces A, regardless of whether it is 0 modular addition A or A modular addition 0 we always get an answer of A under our closed set. And you'll see through further examples in the book, and if you just want to try it yourself, the additive identity follows for every A within the integer set N. This will always work. That should be equals.